Hello, soul family and friends. It is your spiritual YouTube sister girl, Brittany, here with a random reading for you guys. I've had a rough last couple of days, past few days. I've not been feeling well. I have had this weird sore throat. Like... It's weird because when your throat is hurting, you don't want to talk. And I'm somebody that loves to be heard because I've always felt as if people didn't care about my perspective or didn't care about my feelings or wouldn't acknowledge, wouldn't acknowledge um, my thoughts or my creativity. I felt a lot as if people would listen to me and take my ideas or watch me and try to imitate me. So for me, I like to talk. I like to give clarity in the com in the conversing that I do with others. I like to give and gain clarity. Um, I want to know: Am I dealing with somebody stupid, or am I dealing with a whiz? Am I dealing with a whiz kid? Am I dealing with a master manifester? With somebody who is powerful? spiritual, with high energy. So with the wisdom card coming out first, I feel like that's what's coming to you. I feel like clarity is coming in a certain situation. I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this clarity. And as long as you continue to be patient, it's going to come. Even though it feels like, okay, this person is never going to like listen to me and then give me true feedback. This person is always going to like shut down, shut me out, you know, and just be closed up. I think that, that I don't think that that's what's happening. Um, I think that this person is full of wisdom, full of bright ideas, full of talent. Um, I feel like this person that you're thinking about, either they feel like you bring wisdom because you're so creative, you're so grounded and earthly and well-balanced. They look at you as the queen of pentacles, or they are the queen or king of pentacles. Somebody that is balanced, creative. Can bring in um, multiple sources or streams of income based on your creativity alone. So I feel like that's what this person thinks about you. No matter what, I feel like this person, like, I feel like they're willing to go through the little petty arguments, the little drama, the little separations, the battle of the words. I believe that they're willing to go through that with you because they feel as if you are the person or the source of some sort of wisdom. It can be the sexual energy that you guys share. They probably feel like as if they've done things with you that they haven't done with anybody else. Or they probably feel like you've showed them something that nobody else has showed them with sexuality. It could also be the wisdom that you bring to them about being and acting and living and feeling like a queen or a king. You could bring wisdom to them, bring knowledge to them about who they are, about who you feel you are and why you feel like you guys are were put together. They probably trust your wisdom. They probably trust the things that you tell them. Prince of Pentacles and Three of Swords in reverse makes me feel as if before when you guys dated or first started to talk or the last time you guys were together or whatever, I feel as if that their heart chakra was unbalanced and that their third eye was closed off. I feel like they were not in touch with their higher selves, so they came to you as a prince instead of a king, but you were a queen. 
So that might have caused the argument and the breakup and the hard feelings and stuff. But then this person gained this clarity about how they were acting and about how they were treating you. And so now they're coming out of this prince energy and moving into, you know, higher energy, moving into their higher self. They're coming out of the pain, causing pain and drama in your life. They want to come offer you something solid or they want to have something solid with you because they've gotten wisdom about this situation. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Let's see what's going on. Come here, Princeton. Hold on, guys. Sorry about the dis the disruption. Sorry, guys. Where do we leave off? Okay, so yeah, this person wants to go into their higher self, their their better energy. They want to be lighthearted. They want to they want to come share with you whatever it is that they've been working on. Y'all could have been separated for eight months, eight weeks, or eight days, or y'all could have talked on the phone eight hours ago. And it's like this person um, could be into magic. I don't know why people keep it a secret, but they do. Possibly for the fear of other people or religious people thinking that they're trying to do something bad to them. But in real life, magic is just these formulas that people put together in order to do rituals. A formula could be of anything. It could be of substances, of thoughts, of ideas. It could just be stuff being written down on a piece of paper. You could be confirming your beliefs by writing it down on a piece of paper and that whole letter that you write down or that list of things, that becomes a formula. Now you formulated an idea which you hope to bring to pass by scripting it out, writing it down. The universe is watching. Spirits are watching. The creator God is watching. The angels that, that God sends when God is too busy to watch, to fight for you, they're all watching. And, you know, although we know that God Almighty is the strongest force because God Almighty is the source. God Almighty is source energy. So we know that everything comes from this source. However, we know that humans are on the, on the weaker link of the spectrum. We know that angels and angelic creatures and beings are on the stronger end of the spectrum because they are more closely related to light energy we are more we are solid solid skin bone 3d like we can't break through the spiritual realm but something that is made more of light that is lighter energy they can come through to us so they are stronger than us they have supernatural powers and abilities to make things happen in our life so this person could be into manifestation magic. This person could be doing all types of things to bring about a miracle in you guys' relationship or friendship. And this person wants to talk to you. So if you haven't gotten your call today, eight hours ago... Prepare to talk to this person in the next eight hours or in the next eight days. Some of you, it can be eight weeks. For others of you that are newer along this journey, it can take eight months. The way you act, the way you treat a person when they're treating you with disregard and disgust is like, it's, it's actually, it could become a showdown or a standoff. Like the person can feel like, oh, so you want to play me and embarrass me and talk to me crazy? Okay, that's cool. I'm going to make your life really fucking hard. I'm going to make your relationships hard. I'm going to disturb your activities. I'm going to be mean to you and make you sad. I'm going to try to make you depressed. That's how things can go when a person is acting out of their lower self. So I advise you to learn how to let things go 
and let things be the way they are so that if you truly love a person, they will come back to you. They will come back rushing in, wanting to talk to you again because they won't be able to say you did too many things that were bad to them. However, if this person did some things that are bad to you or were unforgivable to you, I feel like they've tried to fix it with some form of magic. They could have talked to somebody. They could have went to like a reader or a psychic who does rituals and spell work. Or they could have just visited the person in Nigeria, the person in um, Louisiana, the person in Lagos, the person in... Um, Shoot, Mexico, the person, they could have just visited somebody. If they went on a trip recently and you already feel like this person is into magic, then that could be the truth and this could be your confirmation. It's not an argument to have with anybody though. Like I said, you can let things be. But what you can do is learn to protect yourself just in case people are doing some sort of spell works on you or being paid to do some type of rituals. And you know what? It might not even be the person that's that's that pay for rituals your person could have went traveling with their girlfriend who knows about you and their girlfriend could have paid to do some type of ritual so that your person wouldn't see you for as beautiful and enlightened that you are so that your person can't see you as outstanding and artistic they probably did a ritual so that your person can't see that you are the step. You are the first step. You are the last step towards their happiness. They've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cups. They got to you and you were the ninth cup. You were the one that was so interesting to them. So different. So admirable. You were just very different. Nine. And ten almost came. Ten almost came. But there's some energy that's fighting, is fighting the love that you guys share. And so this person is trying to cut off the temptation that their person has for you. Their person feels tempted, tempted to touch, tempted to be with you, tempted to love you, tempted to lust over you, tempted to experience things with you because they've already been around you. I don't feel good, you guys. I really don't. And when I start to feel this way, it's like either, okay, this is happening to somebody or I hate to say it's happening to me because I don't, I don't, um, speak those things, you know, into my life. And I'm not trying to speak them into your life. I'm just trying to be honest with you about the things that people do in case you're new to spirituality and you're not sure about what people do. That is definitely something that people do. People that are not happy in their relationship and they find out that their person is interested in somebody else. If they find out that person's name or what they look like or their whereabouts or a combination of those things, then sometimes people do try to do little, you know, spell work and magic, magical things to break their person up with you. But it's like whatever the universe has in mind is what it is. The plan was already written. It was already made. That's why some of us can honestly tell you like, no, you're getting back with your person. You're just going to have to take it very easy. You're going to have to do steps one, two, three, and then steps A through Z. And when you get down to three Z, then you and your person can be together. That other person will be gone. They won't even be worried about your person no more, but you have to let it happen. You need to find something to do. Don't just... Go around and be a skeeza in a thought box, but definitely find something to do. Have friends to talk to and take walks with. Have friends who are healthy. You know, you know, just keep your mind busy until the person comes back if you really love them that much. And if you don't, then move on. There's no reason for a bad breakup and a bad argument. Unless someone's stalking you and they won't leave you alone, okay, then you have to kind of put the foot down on them, but... Other than that, it should be as clear as, okay, you don't want to treat me right, so goodbye. Go have fun with who you're having fun with, and I'll be here doing me. Now, when you come back, you better hope that I'm single, because I know that I'm a good person, and I know that I will get what I want from who I want. I wanted it from you, 
but you refused to give me that love. And all I wanted and required was love and respect. That's the part that gets me because there's a lot of girls out here that require fortune and fame. They require money. They require ass shots and a brush job. They require you to leave your family and friends to be with them with the five of pentacles. Even if it means that they're going to have to be homeless with you, they will encourage you. No, you're going to leave that bitch and those kids. You're going to leave her and be with me. I don't care if we have to sleep in my uncle's van outside of my granddaddy's house. We're going to be together and you're going to leave her. So it's like, come on now. If you fall into, if you meet somebody that's controlling you and trying to make you do things and you pick that struggle love over a queen or a king who truly just wants to love you and vibe with you, then it's like, that's your fault. So make sure you keep that mindset, my kings and queens out there who is listening to this message, because right now, it, 2020 is the year of self-love, no doubt. Self-respect, self-love, self-knowledge, self self-worth, self like know who you are, value yourself and love yourself and make sure that other people feel that shit because can't nobody treat you how you don't let them treat you. Anyways, love you guys. Gotta go before the recording stop. Bye.